Sesame Street presents for me, for you, for later. Oh, oh, hi! Welcome to Sesame Street. Oh, look what Elmo has. His very own dollar. I've been giving financial advice for 25 years. These days, though, it seems like everyone's getting into the financial advice business. Even Elmo is now setting out to prove that you can never be too red, too fuzzy, or too young to learn about money. And I completely agree. Getting parents to talk about this tough topic with their children is one of the essentials of personal finance. Elmo's workbook and DVD is called For Me, For You, For Later. And I went to Sesame Street to learn more about it in a conversation with Rocio Galarza. Or at least we tried to have a conversation when Elmo would let us. Take a look. Rocio, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank and you. Elmo, how are you? Hello, Mr. Rick. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, too. <laughs> we have so much fun talking with parents all the time about their personal finances, but moms and dads are shocked at how young their children are when they become involved with money. It is. It is shocking sometimes, but the truth is that their life skills and financial concepts can be learned very, very early on. Yeah, yeah. Elmo loves to save. You do, Elmo? Yeah. Where do you get money? Well, Elmo gets money from his mommy and his daddy when he does chores. Yeah. And when you do chores? Mm -hmm. and, and what do you do with the money that you get? Well, Elmo likes saving his money in three jars. One for saving, one for spending, and one for sharing. Well, who do you share your money with? Elmo shared his money and gave Cookie Monster a dollar to buy a cookie. And did Cookie Monster share his cookie with you? He did. It was really cool. He shared. That's one of the most fun things to do with money, isn't it? Sharing it with others. Yeah. It really is. And so some of the joy of money comes not just from spending it, but from sharing it. Yeah, and saving it. Where do you save your money, Elmo? Where does Elmo save his money? Mm-hmm. Well, at, at home. In jars. In jars? Do you, yeah. Did you make the jars yourself? Yeah, that was cool. And so money is actually fun. Oh, money is a lot of fun. And do you find that, it, that you always like to spend all the money that you have all, all at once? No, that's not good. No? <laughs> no, because then it won't, it won't like get, get more and more and more in the jars if you, keep, if you keep spending. So what are one of the big goals that you have, Elmo, that you'd like to spend money on in the future? Well, Elmo would like to get a new tricycle. Oh, that would be an awful yeah. lot of fun. And yeah. Rocio, is that one of the key concepts of teaching children delayed gratification? Absolutely. We say that saving is really about learning to wait. And we encourage children to learn to wait because the long-term effects of learning to wait can not only affect their financial um, concepts, but also they can, they ha can have long-term effects on their yeah, life. Really is tough. Oh, it really yeah. is, isn't it? <laughs> but you yeah. know, they say that a penny saved is a penny earned. Yeah. If it takes that long, Elmo might have to get a bicycle. Well, I think that would be just as good as well, don't you think? Yeah, Elmo does too. <laughs> so how do parents teach their children? Because so many parents want their kids to learn about money, but they are kind of lost at how do you talk to a three-year-old or a four-year-old about financial concepts? Well, the truth is that you can do it in your everyday routines. Things like, how do you make choices every day when you're going to the grocery store, the supermarket? How do you make those choices? will actually help children understand that spending money is about making choices. Yeah, and Elmo's mommy and daddy have jobs, and so they earn money, so they teach Elmo that too. And do you like the idea one day that you'll be able to have a job and earn money too? Oh yeah, Elmo would love that, because Elmo wants to be a teacher. And Elmo knows that teachers get paid too. I was hoping, Elmo, that one day you would want to be a financial planner. That's too big of a word. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, thank you so much for being with us here today. Thank you. Thank you for having Miss, Miss Rosia and Elmo, too. High five? High four. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks, yeah. Rosia.